I still can't believe we took Slavkovsky over Shane Wright, or dare I say preseason phenom Logan Cooley. We should have taken Wright or Cooley over Slavkovsky. You guys know me. I would never say that. I had this epiphany this morning that we should change the preseason to overreact season. Not that many fans are really overreacting during the preseason. I just thought it would be fitting. You know, before I even continue a little further, half my face is still numb from the dentist. So if you hear some weird things coming out of this side or, you know, see some less movement on this side of my mouth, that's why. All right. So at the end of the day, hockey is back. The preseason begins. This is video one of 88, as I vowed to do a video after every single preseason and regular season game this season for the Habs. Let's just dive into a quick recap of this game, and then we'll talk about some standouts afterwards. The game starts, and uh, things are looking pretty decent. There's some good puck movement coming from the Habs' back end all the way to the front end. The Habs end up with the first power play, Simeone over to Joshua Waugh, and the rebuild is basically over. Joshua Wa pots it on a nice feed from Simeonu, who just made a quick read to get the puck to him as fast as possible because Wa was wide open. He buries it, and the Habs get the first goal. Sean Farrell, using his peripheral vision, tries to clear it out of his own zone with a backhand pass. It's not a very good one, and it doesn't clear, his de clear the defensive zone, and the Devils end up putting it in the back of the net to tie it 1-1. Fast forward to the second period, and oh man, those bell center boards. Simone Nemich, or Simon Nemich, however you want to pronounce it, he scores a goal on Samuel Montembeau from center ice. You guys saw the goal. It bounces in off the boards on the most horrible bounce that could ever take place for a goaltender. As Montembeau admitted after the game, the worst bounce and the worst goal he's ever let in in his career. But thankfully, baby, it's preseason. Either way, Simone Nemich pots it. Uh, you know, good for him for the Slovak, the other Slovak on the ice last night. Yes, Slavkovsky and Nimic did grow up together along with Philip Machar as we saw those three Slovakians get drafted last year together in the first round at the 2022 draft. Later in the second period, Logan Mayu is deep on the penalty kill in the New Jersey offensive zone. He goes after Jack Hughes and Jack Hughes says, yeah, okay, rookie, you want to play that way? And he comes in, he beats Logan Mayu to the Habs blue line, carries the puck in all by himself without having to use the slingshot pass or the drop pass, whatever you want to call it. Jack Hughes comes in, just keeps the puck all to himself the entire time, uses a great decoy, a little deke to get past the defender. He slides it over to a wide open Dawson Mercer, and he buries it to put the Devils back up 2-1. That's an instance where you're glad, like me, that you took Jack Hughes in one of your hockey pools. I think I took Dawson Mercer too. Either way, it's a win. I'm, I'm going to win. Third period and a bit more the same from the Devils on the power play. They get their third power play advantage and Dawson Mercer and Jack Hughes in on this one again. Man, these guys are going to be good for points. I'm going to go as far as to say future Hart Trophy candidate Jack Hughes. This puts the Devils up 4-2 and they would pretty much cruise the rest of the way. We get to the end of the game and Logan Mayu is just putting on like a flurry of shots. He didn't actually hit the net on most of those, but he had some good looks throughout the game and you can definitely tell that He's an offensive defenseman, and uh, is he going to be a defensive liability? They're going to work on him, guys. They're going to work on that part of his game a lot, and hopefully he makes Laval and has a ton of time to get in reps to really you know, solidify both parts of his game. Maybe I'm just being self-conscious, but my mouth still feels really weird, so if it's looked really funny and weird throughout this video because of the numbing from the dentist, still, that's why. So just leave me alone. Did you guys find yourselves reminding yourselves that, you know, despite the dis small discouraging you know loss here which really it isn't discouraging it's preseason anyway but you still want to win at the end of the day no matter what roster these guys decide to ice but you remind yourself you still have Cole Caulfield who wasn't playing you still have Nick Suzuki who wasn't playing you still have Kirby Doc who wasn't playing Sean Monahan, Brendan Gallagher Mike Matheson David Savard even Yoel Armia Regardless, I told you guys who we're going to talk about some standouts in this game. It was great to see Arbor Jack guy back out there throwing the body. He actually had a pretty solid hit on Tyler Toffoli, as did Logan Mayu, actually. And uh, Toffoli wasn't all too happy, former Montreal Canadian himself. But uh, these guys are getting their reps in, right? They wanted to get some good contact in, which they certainly did. And Toffoli was on the receiving end of that. I thought Joshua Wall looked okay at times despite the goal, but, uh, you know, there were some con concerns about Slavkovsky. Well, listen, the guy hasn't played in, played in nine months, and yeah, he had some tumbles and some instances where he didn't look so comfortable out there, but he got a little bit better as the game went along, I thought, and, 
you know what? He's just a, a work in progress. I said that he was the instant gratification choice for the Canadians over Shane Wright. He's not. They're both long-term projects, I think. Thinking about the possibility of Alex Newhook on a line with Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield, I think has to get you a little excited because you saw how fast Newhook was on the ice last night. He created that goal with David Reinbacker and Josh Anderson there. That was one instance of an offensive play. And really, you know, he wasn't playing with his regular line mates, but Alex Newhook is speedy. He's fast. He's going to make quick bang, bang plays to create offense for the Canadians and hopefully put up some decent numbers this season, but still like what I saw from him. Logan Mayu, despite, you know, being on the receiving end of the highlight of the night play from Jack Hughes on that goal to Dawson Mercer. You know what? Like the guy got his reps in. You could see how happy him and Ryan Backer were after the game. First chance to play in the Bell Center. Just uh, it's still a good atmosphere, despite it being preseason because it's Montreal and we're awesome. Simeone definitely stood out on the fourth line with Lucas Condotta and Laguerre. I uh, didn't see a ton from Laguerre and Condotta. They were getting chances a little later in the game, but definitely liked what I saw from Simeone. He looks good. He looks fast. He looks skilled. And uh, I think he should have a great season with the Laval Rocket last year, assuming that's the plan. Jordan Harris impressed me. He looked like he's actually got some NHL experience under his belt, which we know that he does. Now, one defenseman that actually did impress me a little bit that you know, I've been a little hard on at times was Justin Barron. I thought he looked cooler, calmer. He was making better reads last night out there. He was in better position. A lot of times I noticed, I thought he looked better overall. I, I'm encouraged by Justin Barron's play. Caden Gooley's Caden Gooley doing his job alongside rookie David Reinbacker. Now let's talk about David because David Reinbacker to me for an 18 year old, I mean, Marty St. Louis was right. He's got the poise, the maturity beyond his years for an 18 year old defenseman. I thought he looked pretty good. I got to be honest with you. I'm, I'm encouraged, not just because he got an assist in this game, but I liked his positional play. I like that he really reads the game well. He really thinks on his feet. He thinks before he acts, when before he makes a first pass. And I just, I'm encouraged for the first preseason game, first taste of really seeing David Reinbacker against NHL talent. I like what I saw. I'm encouraged. My buddy Owen Beck looked okay at times last night. He was actually pretty good in the faceoff dot a lot of the night too. Owen Beck, yes, I'm going to mention it once again. Have an interview with him in person, one on one. You can check that out if you want. I've said it five times already. Did I mention I met Nick Suzuki and interviewed him one time? I mentioned it about a thousand times last year. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, Owen Beck played pretty good overall. I am still encouraged about Owen. And I think that another year in junior, which it sounds like that's the only option really for him other than the NHL this year, I think it's another opportunity for him to go dominate, get those point numbers up. And by next year, he's really going to be ready to crack the roster on the fourth line, maybe replacing Jake Evans or eventually on the third line. That's pretty much all I got, guys. First preseason game, one of 88 is in the books for the videos that I vowed to do with you guys here. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Habs face the Sens on the next one. And we'll see you guys there. All the best. Go Habs, go.